Hey everybody, what's up? It's TJ. You guys, today we're doing something a little bit different. Well, a whole lot different. I'm going to make biscuits on the stove. So, and I'm using powdered milk. And I've already mixed it together. It's a half a gallon. I'm using self-rising flour. I have my regular flour set to the side to make some gravy with. I like using that for gravy. I don't know why, it just comes out better for me. It is what it is. But anyway, I'm gonna sift this into here. And I don't measure, I just put it in. And as I'm mixing it, you know, I measure that way, with the milk. I don't know. I don't know how to say what I'm trying to say. So, as soon as I can get this thing open, Brandon is worried that this ain't gonna work. He said, you better Make it the other way if it don't turn out good. I'm like, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, kid. It'll be fine. So. I'm going to do this. Y'all have all kinds of sifters. I have like four of them. A couple of them are really, really old. But I like using this better. The other things will wear your hands out. Sit that on in there. Do a little bit more. I'll go ahead and freeze whatever I don't use. Okay, we got some biscuits in this house. Now this is a dirty, messy job. So, plan to get your hands dirty. I know most of you ladies out there have done this a million times, but this will be the first time we do it on the stove top. I had to do my homework for it. Boy, let me tell you. Okay, I'm gonna keep this to the side because I'm gonna use it for my flour for my um, gravy. Okay. Now, shortening. Any kind of shortening. You could use butter if you want. But like I said, I do have canned butter, but I don't wanna use it for this. But I wanted to do, you do it in a way where most people have the stuff on hand and they can use it out of their cabinets. So, we're just going to get a big old clump out of here, okay? Because we got a lot of uh, flour in here. And the more of that you use, the fluffier biscuits is going to be. So, we're going to break this up in here to little tiny clumps. I'm a mess maker and there's no telling what kind of accident I could do have because I'm bad sometimes y'all y'all I've been drinking a monster I shouldn't be drinking those they're not healthy but I do every once in a while and when I do I'm like wired for a little bit okay so that's good now we're gonna put some milk in and just slowly work it. Okay, we're gonna treat it like a little baby. You're gonna get your hands nasty. That's all right. Add a little bit at a time. You don't want to put too much in there because then you have to add more flour to it and by then you done worked it too much and your biscuits will be too hard. more. 
Ooh, I hope I didn't do too much. I don't think I did. There's still a lot of dry in there. Yeah, I'm doing a video. My husband's peeking out the door, y'all. Okay, this is a little bit sticky, but it'd be all right. I'm gonna go ahead and then put my pan on about eight. And you wanna let this fully heat up, okay? Fully. Because you wanna get that rise as quick as you can. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Let me add just a bit of this. Okay. Now, we're not going to press it out and roll it out and all that stuff. We're just going to do the little balls and put them in there. You'll see what I'm talking about. I have an audience over here, guys. What are you doing, Mr. Cookie? Okay. Well, one of them jumped down, but... <laughs> they want to know what Mama's doing in the kitchen. Okay, let me dry my hands. Let's put that on there. So to hold that heat in as it's heating up. Y'all, I was um, seasoning my pans earlier. I guess I need to do a video on that too, huh? It's easy. You know, I do it the longer way in the oven, occasionally. And then in between, I do it on my stovetop. So, yeah. I'm going to get this over here where I can put my hands on it. I'm going to go ahead and do some little balls in it. Let me bring that down a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. There's your biscuit. You can do it bigger than that if you want. I probably will do it bigger. Biscuit number one. Now remember, I have this on eight. You have to start it on a high setting, okay? And I'll try to explain as we go along why. Some of you guys already know Pan is trying to smoke a little bit, y'all. Not trying, it is. They're not going to be the most beautiful thing in the world, but they're going to be some biscuits. They're going to be good. I may have to turn the fan on, on the microwave. Okay, this should be hot enough. We're gonna try it. Let me bring this over here. Uh-oh, my legs on my tripod just doing their thing. You see it smoking? Turn it down. We 
we want it to rise really quick. And hopefully I'm not about to burn them. I have a spatula here somewhere. Here it is. Let me get this too, just in case. Shouldn't have rinsed my hands in between. Okay, so now we're going to turn it down below. That really sucks. That's a little bit too dark. I really wanted to be able to do this in my iron skillet. Doesn't look like I'm going to get to. Okay. Let's bring that to the side. Let's try it another way, y'all. And you have to turn it up because you have to make it rise, okay? If you don't, if you cook it real low, it's not going to rise like it's supposed to at all. We're going to try this again. Let's look at that. It's still raw in the middle. Yeah. So... Don't try it in iron skillet. Now, see, I didn't put oil down either, so I don't know. I don't know what's going to work better, but we'll very soon find out. Mowing some more biscuits really quick. I'm glad I made enough. Y'all hear my cat? This is why I like the apron. Okay. I'm going to do it like I do in the oven. Get it on both sides. Hopefully this will work. If not, then you guys won't ever see this video. But this is how you learn is trying it, do you know? Look at there. Now once we do this initial browning, then we turn it down low and let it cook all the way through, okay? Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna turn it down and let it cook, cook. Separate. And you're gonna flip them and stuff like that and keep them from, you know, burning totally on one side and everything like that. Don't, I wouldn't try this in an iron skillet. They get too hot. They really do. They get way too hot. So, maybe again, I'll try it later. I don't know. I don't know why it's different, but it is. Um, so, yeah, let's look at these. Y'all know these are going to be good. So let me pause this and let them cook for just a little bit and I'll be back. All right, y'all. So it's, they're still cooking. They're almost finished. And I was able to stick my fork in here and check it. It's still a tiny bit gooey in there. But look, I'm going to show y'all. I was able, I've been able to turn them without a spatula. I don't like doing it, but I'm just saying it can be done. And I had a piece fall off from one of them, so I promptly stuck it in my mouth, and it was pretty darn gone good. So, yeah. Y'all, that just really bothers me. But now I know, you know, you, you only find that these things out by trying them. So these are almost done. Let me get it done and I'll be back. All right, you guys, while we're waiting on this, cause it does take a little bit of time, you know, I'm going to get my flour ready for my, um, my gravy. So you guys know I use it from the jar. And because I know I'm going to use a pretty good bit, I'm just going to go ahead and get some of this in here. Let me find something to break it up with. Be careful when you're doing this because you really don't want metal up against your jars. So just try to only work it in the, the uh, flour. the extent of that. All right, so I'm going to sift it. You have to sift this. And I'll, you'll see why here in just a second. Let me bring this a little bit closer. See that? You need to break those up. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just compacted. Okay? So just push them through. And as you push them through, you're pretty much sifting it. making one big mess over here. Let me move this before I dump it over. And then I can go ahead and move this. Put the lid on that. There's my oil for my gravy. Let's check on this. Y 
y'all, those are done. Okay, so what we're gonna do, set that right there. I'm gonna get a plate out. I gotta call Brandon in here to try that, and he doesn't wanna be on camera, so I'll be right back, you guys. All right, y'all, I'm back, and he really liked them. He said they're really good. But, okay, I went ahead and turned this up on high. I'm gonna put me some oil in. That's maybe a third of a cup. Well, let that heat up. And all we're gonna use is the flour, the milk, salt and pepper. As soon as I find it. Pepper. And salt. That's in my hot mess up there. That's my medicine cabinet. I keep my medicine in here and things like this that I use constantly. So, yeah. So this is heating up. I like doing my gravy on high. It cooks way better for me. I've been making gravy all my life, y'all. So, there's that. But I usually do it in the iron skillet. But I'm going to do it in this since I've done my biscuits in it. So, this should be plenty hot enough. That's good right here. If you add too much flour, it's okay. Just add a little bit more oil. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. We're gonna cook this just for a second. I'm gonna cook out some of that flour taste, okay? And because I'm using a Teflon pan, I'm using a Teflon uh, thing, uh, beater, whatever you call it, egg beater? I don't know. You guys know I'm terrible with stuff like that. The names of stuff. Some of you know. Those of you who don't know, didn't know, you know now. <laughs> Always use cold or room temperature milk. Okay? This is our faucet. That would be considered room temperature. Never use hot anything, okay? It will ruin your gravy. So if you're gonna use milk out of your fridge, just, you know, use it cold. Don't try to heat it up or anything like that. I'm telling you, you will ruin your gravy. Okay. And of course, this is just regular old milk gravy. Typically, I, you know, deep fry meat of whatever usually cube steak in my case, but I like milk gravy better. My husband don't, but I do. So we wanna do this pretty quick, okay? And put a pretty good bit in there. You don't want it to be thickening up on you and all that stuff too fast. Well, let's let that cook for just a second. We'll see what it does. Go ahead and add some pepper. Oh. Look at there. Yeah, it's getting thick already. Like way too thick. And just keep going with it. No lump, y'all. Salt. Salt to taste. Let's see, you guys. I've been making gravy for a long time. I know about how much to put in there. Um, so you need to take your time with it. 
but I'm gonna still try mine anyway because sometimes I don't get it right. It does happen. That's perfect. That's done. That's how easy it is to make gravy. So let me get a little saucer. Oh, my birdies. This came from um, Cracker Barrel. Let me get this one. Get my hot mess over here, y'all. I have definitely got a hot mess. I'm just gonna open that up. Get my big spoon for my gravy. Oh no. Y'all know this is gonna be good. Oh my god, good, good, good. Let me get pork. Don't have, I've got flour all over me. Look at that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can eat good even in the apocalypse, y'all. I'm just kidding about the apocalypse. But, you know. If something catastrophic were to happen, we have power or whatever. You could do this on your camp stove. You could do it on a rocket stove. You could do it on a grill. Or just a regular campfire. You can make biscuits and gravy. I didn't make that much gravy. Usually I make a big pan full of gravy and I use almost all my milk. But I didn't do it this time. This is so good, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. That is it, you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye. Got stuff on my face.